We are live. Zach Poff, Steve Montoya. We're breaking down the weekend of high school football. We want to hear from you. Leave a comment. Let us know what's going down in yeah. your state. The big games. We want to hear about it. And uh, we will get to those comments shortly. Zach, we have one out-of-state game yeah. going down this weekend. And, of course, it's it's IMG as they're heading out to SoCal this week to yeah. play Long Beach Poly. To a... Uh, one current powerhouse, one kind of former powerhouse, but yeah. Long Beach Poly is not bad either. Yeah, and you know, Poly has won five games in a row, but we're going to talk IMG first. Like you said, Steve, second time this year, they're traveling down to SoCal. Now, the last time they went down there, they escaped with a one-point victory, but it, in my opinion, Coach Wright has these boys playing at a, a higher level right now. That was kind of early in the season. And talent-wise, you know, you can make a case they're, they're tops in the country. you got four-star quarterback Kellen Mond dishing the ball here to Brian Hightower, the number three wide receiver in the 2018 class. And uh, Grant Delpit right there, big-time nice safety, pick. LSU commit. You know, when it comes to talent, IMG's there with just about anybody. Dylan Moses, though, five-star Alabama commit, number yeah, two overall good. recruit. He's uh, he's pretty good there. But, uh, hey, Long Beach Poly comes in, Ryan, a little momentum, too. They've won five in a row, and over the last four games, they've kind of gone Corona Centennial on folks. They've scored 70 points in wow. four straight games. But that's against more league competition. IMG Academy, a, a different beast. But, uh, hey, you know, you got Antonio Pierce there. He... Uh, he beat the Patriots team when they were, what, 18-0 and 0 going into the Super Bowl. So he's going to have his boys ready to go here tonight against IMG Academy, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, we have another, actually another out-of-state yeah. game we'll get to here in a minute, but we want to get to a few comments before we get to that. Dwayne, what's up, my man? Uh, what's up, o baby? Oak Ridge against Campbell County. That's going down. I believe that's a Tennessee game. Ooh. Uh, Dylan, correct me if I'm wrong. Fairfield out in Ohio. They're going up against Hamilton on senior night. Probably a lot of senior nights going, yeah. going down around Yeah, Bishop the Gorman had theirs last night. And it was only a 59-nothing win, I believe. So 56-nothing, actually. Yeah, that's not that good. No. And, hey, that Oak Ridge team in Tennessee, they got the number one wide receiver in the country, in my opinion, T. Higgins. Okay. He's a baller. All right, let's go uh, shout-out to the whole WCAC. Shout-out to all <laughs> you guys. Hey. Rockdale and Franklin in Texas. Top 10 teams, district title on the line tonight. That's when you know it's big yes, time sir. football right here. Garrett says he can't wait for basketball season. That's right around the corner. Let's, we will have shows like football this. right now still. So, yep. Lamont says Paul is going to lose by 30 tonight. I think they're going to lose by more than 30. Oh, so. man. <laughs> That's Zach Pop. I'm right just, there. Hey, I'm just Paulie keeping it fans. real. IMG is, you know, right there when it comes to, you know, top team in the country. And, uh, you know, Paulie's good, but IMG's great. Yeah, all right, let's keep on going here. Lakewood High School out in Florida. Shout out to you guys. Franklin versus Elk Grove tonight, the Thundering Hurt. Who are you taking? Uh, I got to take Elk Grove, but Franklin go. needs this win for sure to keep their playoff hopes alive. South versus Foothill. Okay. Uh, we got some uh, stuff I don't know much about. <laughs> Bruce, tell us more. And we'll give you a shout out there. NorCal football getting yep. some love. Hey, who's the best team football. in NorCal, you think? St. Mary's? St. Mary's, Folsom, De La Salle, De La Salle's there? up there. Yep. Okay. So uh, Will, Willowbrook versus Quincy out in Illinois. I believe Illinois is in their playoffs now. Hey, the state of Illinois is going to be popping tonight, you know. World Series going on yeah. with Chicago Cubs. Hey, but Friday night football is a little more important, right? <laughs> yeah. Don't, who cares about Kyle Hendricks, huh? Yeah. Baker County, the Wildcat. Niceville versus Crestview, a top 10 a match up there. Four City, yeah. top 10. Where? Um, <laughs> But and Niceville and uh, Crestview, that's going to be a big Florida game. That was on our top 10 games of the week. Ah, so. that's the top 10 yeah. he's talking about. That's going to be a big-time awesome. matchup, baby. All right, Oaks Christian against St. Bonnie. Who will win this one? Oaks Christian's always loaded. I'm going Oaks. Let's go. Okay. All right, Florida just getting some love overall. Bergen Catholic against Don Bosco Prep. Big game Ooh. out there in New Jersey. Roswell. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say Bergen Catholic. They got this kid, Josh McKenzie. He's a straight baller. He's a sophomore. Also a great wrestler. I, I think Bergen was in the top 25 yeah. for a little bit this year. 
And uh, that's going to be a big time matchup out in Jersey. I'm going Bergen. All righty. And then Roswell out in Georgia getting yeah. some love. And speaking of Georgia, yeah. Grayson yes, is going to put the, the Peach State on the line as they go and play a Hoover team out in Alabama. Yeah, they're hitting the road this week. And, uh, you know, I was talking about IMG being one of the most talented. If they're not, it could be because of Grayson. You see D'Angelo Gibbs right there, a four-star safety doing that on offense. You know, when it comes to talent, they're right there with anybody. You got 2017 Clemson commits Sling of the Rock. There's Owen Popo, a five-star linebacker. He jumped on the podcast this week. A great young guy and a great young football player. You got Jemias Williams, a four-star DB who does it on offense also. You know, when it comes to being good on all three phases of football, offense, defense, and special teams, Grayson is right there. They've won seven in a row since their season opening loss to IMG Academy. These boys are playing at a very, very high level. And Hoover, are they a bubble team? Or are they? Yeah, they're one of okay. five bubble teams this weekend. Looking at Hoover, you know, they come in riding a lot of momentum too, just like Grayson. They lost to Allen second week of the season. They've won seven games in a row. They're eight and one this year. And Steve, in all eight of their wins, they've held the opponent to eight points or less. But the stat that's just off the charts for me is opposing offenses are allowing less than 100 total yards wow. against them. They're, they're money on third down also. You know, offense is only converting at a 25% rate. You're going to look at Shedrick Jackson also here. He's uh, the nephew of the best Tecmo Bowl player ever, <laughs> Bo Jackson. Oh, wow. Bo he's Jackson got, always. Got some good, good blood in him then. <laughs> hey, Bo was, uh, you know, you can make a case he was the best athlete of all time. They're going to need a big game from Shedrick, and they're going to need their defense to step up like they have been all season long. It's a nationally televised game on ESPNU. So, uh, these boys will be ready to play. Yeah, that's a big game for sure right there. Great chance for Hoover to show what they got. I know they are uh, they got a great fan base yeah. there thinking they and thinking they should be in the top 25. Yeah. Good, good chance to show what they and, got. You know, they're right there. McGill Toolin right now is the team, I believe, that's number one in Alabama. But if Hoover goes out and makes a, a statement against Grayson, they're going to be, you know, fighting McGill Toolin for that number one spot in the state. But McGill Toolin, man, they're, uh, they're, they're playing good. big time football. Marlon Williams, USC commit. He's big time, huh? <laughs> All right, Central versus Clovis West. Uh, first place out in the Central Valley. There is some good football played out in that area yeah. for sure. Webb City against West Plains. We got Kingman Academy against Mojave Prep. Go Tigers, somebody says. Thomas Jefferson, Vista Park out in Colorado. Cedar Rapids Prairie against Waterloo West. Getting some love Waterloo, there. Waterloo, baby. Hoover is going to win, says Romeo. So I think it's going to be a close game, and uh, you know, so I had Owen on the podcast this week, and uh, he said 38-21, Grayson. I said it was going to be a little closer. I think Grayson's going to find a way to win by a single score, but uh, Hoover's no joke. Yeah, all right. Temple against College Station. John asked Freedom of Oakley, California against Pittsburgh. Who you got? Freedom now is one of those teams that had slowly risen up the NorCal ladder there, and uh, people are hey, talking about them as they, a real deal. They got this running back, Ronnie Rivers. He is balling this year. 23 touchdowns. Pittsburgh's also got a big time running back with Mr. Thompson, but uh, that was also one of the top 10 games of the week. And, uh, you know, the league title's on the line in that one also. Yeah, good good one out there in Northern California. All right, Southern California getting some love Friday night in Southern California. Oregon Jesuit versus Westview is probably the biggest game yeah. out there. And uh, speaking of SoCal real quick too, Yeah. St. John Bosco got that modern day taste out of the mouth last night with <laughs> big a big win. time win too against uh, Jay Sarah. All right, uh, Wilson Central, the Wildcats versus Overton. Wildcats kicker up for Mr. Football has kicked four field goals over 50 yards. Wow, that's very Some impressive. NFL kickers haven't even done that no. this year. All right, uh, Bradford Tornadoes out in Florida getting some love there. Brooks County in Georgia. Watch for Rayville High School basketball in Ooh, Louisiana. Sneaking basketball <laughs> in there. But getting back to the kicker for Gatorade Player of the Year, how would you like to be like a quarterback or a skill position in that state? And like, uh, we're going with the kicker this year. Hey, if you're just boot, you know what? Zach <laughs> brings up a really, really good point. Uh -oh. One of the most underrated things in all of high school sports yeah. 
is the PAT. Yeah. You know how many games are lost because of a missed PAT or bad blocking or, or whatever yeah. conditions? Special teams are very important and they get overlooked a ton for sure. They do, definitely. And PATs are one of them. So many games, it's 21-20 because of missed PAT. I saw one last night, 12-13. A team lost because a couple of PATs and it really ticks me off, Zach. <laughs> because when I was a senior, we lost like three or four games because we couldn't make but a you, PAT. You, I wasn't the kicker. Why weren't you the kicker then? I, I you know? was the long snap. Oh, so the snaps were pretty the bad? The snaps were perfect. <laughs> the snaps were bad. The holder couldn't handle it. It's okay. I, now I get why it's coming out right now. I get it. All right. Uh, somebody wants to know if they're just joining us, who wins, Pauly or IMG? I said Pauly is not going to win this game earlier, so I'm going to stick with IMG. All right. How about this one from John? He says, Odessa High School taking on their crosstown rival, Odessa Permia. Yeah. Hey, that's a big There's time. There's a movie about them, Texas right? Texas High School yeah. football clash right there. And for you Texas people out there, search Texas High School football on Max Preps on Facebook. we got an all-new yeah. page going up and there. Speaking of Texas, too, a big game going down between Alito. You know, Alito's been one of the best teams in all of Texas, you know, since the 2000s. But they're taking on Justin Northwest, you know, a team that was 1-9 last year. And now both these teams are 8-0 and district title implications are on the line here. But you, you got to love those comeback stories. A team goes 1-9 and nine, and then they come back yeah, strong the next year. But uh, Alito, whew, those boys can score. They're averaging over 60 a game. Yeah, you got to love those uh, turnaround stories for sure. Yeah. All right, in Colorado, Columbine getting some love. Uh, another basketball uh, fan coming in here. <laughs> Is watch this out. Linden or something? Uh, no, What's going watch on? out for Rayville High School. Okay. All right, we'll get to basketball. We'll be doing Facebook yeah. Lives for basketball as well. So I'll, we'll I'll say this, there. Trey Duvall, now at IMG, best basketball player in the country. Okay. All right. Book it. All right. And finally, uh, Midland High School taking on San Angelo Central for district championship out in Texas. Good one as yeah. well. And we're going to close the show real quick with a, a good game out yeah. in Ohio. Always some primetime football, and they're getting close to playoff season as well. Yeah. And, you know, this is probably the biggest rivalry game of the weekend. You got St. Edward versus St. Ignatius. And, uh, Steve, you know it's big time because it's the first time they're playing at the home of the Browns since 1980. Wow. So, they're, you know, it's probably going to be better football watching them <laughs> than the Cleveland Browns, let's yeah. be honest. But, uh, you know, the 54th matchup between these two schools, St. Ignatius has a little bragging rights. They've won 28 of the 53, and there's also been one tie. So, uh, St. Edward's won the last two, though. It's going to be a good one. Uh, I knew you were going to ask got? me who I'm taking. I'm going to go St. Yeah. Edward. All right, I'm checking out the comments here just to get some more in before we go. Uh -oh. Cy Fair getting some love. How about this? Archbishop Moeller out in Ohio is taking on Royal Imperial Knights out of Canada. Ooh. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to America. <laughs> <laughs> All right. America. All right, leave your comments. We want to know about your big Friday night action. Yes, yeah. you basketball fans, you can leave some comments yeah, too. We'll be getting right. to you down the road. But right now, we're in thick of football postseason play. Definitely underway. Next week, Zach, almost... The majority of the country will be underway, Playoffs. and then two weeks from now, virtually all but a few states will be in the playoffs. So, Get your first round playoffs ready. tonight for the Prairie Hawks. Go Hawks, all right? We're going to give some more love. Keep the comments coming. Yeah. We'll chime in and get to those as soon as we can on Facebook. And if you're watching us on Max Preps, and you're going to a game tonight, score it. Score it. We want to get those live scores. Yeah. Just submit some scores live so fans around, because guess what? Now is the most important yeah. time, because you want to know who you may be playing in the playoffs and so forth. So get those scores in. It helps everybody. All right. Zach Pock, Steve Montoya, thanks for joining us here. Enjoy your Friday night.